Good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My Facebook family, come on in the house. Good morning. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, 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 and his mercy endureth forever. Oh, 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 oh. give thanks unto the Lord, for he's good, 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 and his mercy endureth forever, forever, forever. Hallelujah. Glory, praise ye the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Mother Ruby. God bless you this morning. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about, woo! Oh, I get joy, 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 joy. Hallelujah. You remember that song, Sister Lucille? I get joy when I think about, woo! Hallelujah. Then one mother said, I get joy, 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 joy. Brother Larry, God bless you. I know you remember those old time songs we used to sing for testimony service. Hallelujah. Somebody will say, I get happy when I think about. Woo, hallelujah. Well, I tell you, Zion, my Facebook family, that's the time we're living in where we should think. Think about what the Lord has done for us. Hallelujah. Because we know if he done that for us, he's doing so much more. Hallelujah. God is working right now. Hallelujah. Well, actually, it's already done. Hallelujah. When he hung on Calvary's cross and said it is finished, it was already done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we just have to walk through it. Hallelujah. Brother Abram, because it's already done. We've already, hallelujah. The book has been written, Sister Nicole. What God has said he's going to do for us, it's already done. But it's up to us, hallelujah, to just walk it out. Day by day, hallelujah, because the Lord has great things. Hallelujah, on the horizon for us. Great things on the horizon. Good morning, good morning, Cousin Pat. God has great things on the horizon for all of his people. Hallelujah. Regardless what is going on in society, if it's a pandemic, it doesn't matter. God has great things in on the horizon for us. And so that's why I believe the Lord had shared with me this thought. He said, you know, he said, Val, this has been your theme for the church all year long. He said, I want you to tap on it a little bit. Let the people know why you say double for your shame. Hallelujah. God got joy, joy, joy for us. Hallelujah. So I'm not going to be before you long this morning. Hallelujah. But I want to leave this thought with you that the Lord had shared with me. So therefore, um, to lead us into our prayer, our scripture reading this morning will be Isaiah. Isaiah 61. Uh, we'll just read a snippet of it. Let's do verses 6 through 9. Hallelujah. But ye shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. And the glory shall be, mm, my God, the glory. And in the glory shall ye boast yourselves. Hallelujah. 
Ah, for your shame, ye shall have double. Come on here, Zion. For your shame, ye shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in the land, they shall possess the double. Come on here, honey. Every lasting, everlasting joy shall be unto them. Double for your shame, Zion. I won't take it back. And the year is almost done. Before I take it back, as the old timers of Zion would say, I'll add some more to it. Hallelujah. Verse 8 declares, For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offerings. And I will direct their work in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Hallelujah. I declare unto you, Pastor Dean, God has great things on the horizon for us. As Sister Suggs, the Lord said, and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. Did you hear what I said? And their offering among the people. All that see them acknowledge them. And they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. I declare unto you this morning, we are blessed in the city, we're blessed in the field, we're blessed everywhere we go. Hallelujah. Ah, we are blessed people this morning. And this is what the scripture is saying that's going to lead us into our prayer this morning. Hallelujah. Joy, joy, joy. Hallelujah. You will have double for your shame. It's in the word of God. It is written. This is not something Pastor Val just cropped up for you. Mm. No, 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 honey. It is written. Thus saith the Lord, double for your shame. So some of you, amen, like I have been through the years, down through the years, just embarrassed and shamed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, but the new day is here. Hallelujah. <laughs> As they said, trouble don't last always. And we have to know this so that we can encourage ourselves. Hallelujah. And when we encourage ourselves, Brother Andrew, we're going to feel a lot better. Hallelujah. Because God, hallelujah, has double for our shame. Sometimes we're around people, with people that don't appreciate us. Hallelujah. Don't acknowledge us. They reject us just as they did our father. Hallelujah. Jesus said, hey, he's the chief cornerstone and they rejected him. So sometimes, yes, we're going to be rejected. Oh, but I have good news today. Hallelujah. Brother Kenneth, that God is doing great things for us even now as I speak. Hallelujah. I understand it. Hallelujah. See, we don't know all what's happening in the background, but we can know without a shadow of a doubt that God has our best interests at heart. You talking about a plan, hallelujah, an investment program, I got the best one going. <laughs> and his name is Jesus. Jesus Christ, because when you invest into his kingdom, honey, your money going to be multiplied. Hallelujah, because God is a keeper of his word. You don't have to worry about the markets crash. Hallelujah, you don't have to worry about the machines going down, all the computers going down. Hallelujah, the electrical grid going down. You don't have to worry about none of that, because God is a keeper of his word. Well, I think we ought to pray right about now. Hallelujah. Come on in the house. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Ha, ya, my glory. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord. You are guiding light. Hallelujah. You are a supplier. You are a provider. You're the one that gives us everything that we need. Hallelujah. And you are our Jehovah Jireh. You have more than enough to supply to us. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we could ask you for anything. Hallelujah. And everything that our joy may be complete. Hallelujah. You want us to be joyful Christians. Hallelujah. Ah, and we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That we've tapped into 
Hallelujah. One of the passages that will help us have joy, joy, joy. Hallelujah. Joy, joy, joy. Hallelujah. Because we know, hallelujah, weeping mm, may endure for a night. Hallelujah. And some of you know, sometimes those nights get a little bit lengthy. Hallelujah. But joy cometh in the morning. And I, hallelujah, say to you this morning, my Facebook family, that the morning time is here. It's time for joy, 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 joy unspeakable and full of his glory. The Lord wants us to know, hallelujah, as we are his people, hallelujah, that everything that's going on, everything that's happening, it's working for our good. Why? Because we love the Lord and we are called according to his purpose, hallelujah. And I'm talking about loving the Lord with everything that you got. Everything that you have, everything, oh my God, that you hope to be. I mean, as they say, all in, I'm on in. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah for protecting us. Hallelujah from all types of seen and unseen danger. Yesterday while I was out, I had noticed two accidents. Hallelujah. The weather was rainy, somewhat slippery. So Lord, we thank you for protecting us. Hallelujah, as we drove to and fro, hallelujah, going about your business. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are a good God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, and you care for your sheep. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that you keep us. Hallelujah, as we continue to strive to be more like you in our daily walk. Lord, we thank you that we have the revelation. This is a lifestyle. This is something that we do every day, 24-7. Hallelujah. We just don't pop up on Sunday and do it, but it's every day, hallelujah, of our lives. And Lord, we thank you, hallelujah, that you continue, hallelujah, to help us to stand. You continue, hallelujah, as we're on this platform with Pastor Val, it's high time to pray, hallelujah, that you continue to afford us the privilege to cry loud and spare not, and to show my people their sins. Hallelujah. Not that you want to embarrass them. Hallelujah. But you want them to repent. Hallelujah. That they too may have a seat reserved for them in heaven. Father, we thank you, Lord. You're a mighty good God. Hallelujah. Ah, and we thank you, Lord, that as we have shared the scripture with your people, hallelujah, that we're in prayer this morning, hallelujah, we just want to thank you. Before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for everything, Lord, because you have been mighty, mighty good, mighty, mighty good, mighty good to us. And Father, we know, hallelujah, that as a royal priesthood, hallelujah, you've declared in your word, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, hallelujah. What a privilege to be unto the God of glory, a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. Hallelujah, Zion. It's no way around it. God is holy and he's calling for his nation to be holy. We can't do everything our flesh wants us to do. If it's not in the will of God, hallelujah, we got to put it down. Hallelujah, lay aside every sin and every weight that doth so easily beset us and let us run this race with patience that's set before us. It's the word, Zion. We got to obey the word because we are an holy nation. Hallelujah. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And I declare it unto you this day. Hallelujah. And then the Bible declares in this uh, book of Isaiah, hallelujah, as we get more clarity of the scripture that the Lord have us praying with, hallelujah, for joy, joy, joy. It declares in Isaiah 61, 6, which is one of our theme scriptures, but ye shall be named the priests of the Lord, hallelujah. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles 
and in their glory shall ye boast of yourselves. Hallelujah. It is the Lord's doing. Hallelujah. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Then uh, we have 1 Peter 2, 5 declares, ye are as lively stones. Come on here, Zion. They used to tell me <laughs> anything dead ought to be buried. Hallelujah. So I'm sitting around. Hallelujah. So dead and dry. Hallelujah. Anything dead ought to be buried. But in Christ Jesus, we are lively stones, the Bible declares, are built upon a spiritual house. Huh? And holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. I declare unto you this morning, Zion, that as we're with God in prayer, hallelujah, that everything we do, hallelujah, ought to be according to the word of God, because we are his people. We're the sheep of his pastor. We're the representatives of him on earth. We're the hands, the feet, Hallelujah, to continue the ministry of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Therefore, we've got to give it all we got according to the scripture. Revelation 1, 6 declares, as we're praying, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. See, when you know who you are, then you will conduct yourself in the appropriate manner. So realize who you are. Hallelujah. We're not just walking through here. Hallelujah. Regular citizens. We don't even, we're not even of this world. Hallelujah. And some times people say, oh, well, who do you think you are? Well, I mean, you know, really, I'm not of this world. I'm just a pilgrim passing through. I know they don't understand that. But see, when you're in the kingdom of God, you understand, honey, this is not your home. This is just a pit stop. Hallelujah. Because we're on our way to heaven and we've got joy, 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 joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. Revelation 20 uh, verse 6 declares, blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. I declare unto you, Zion, hallelujah, you have to make your reservations now. This is your preparation ground. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. You're not going there just because an accident happened and you died and then your family want to fly you around the glory. Hallelujah. That may be their perception, but it's not biblical. Hallelujah. You have to prepare to go to heaven. Hallelujah. That's why the Lord have left his holy word for you. And that's why he have he would have me to be on this Facebook Live with you this morning, declaring unto you what it takes, hallelujah, that you can prepare yourself for this prepared place, this beautiful place that God has for you. And even right now, hallelujah, when you come to the kingdom, God said, you know, you think, well, oh, I have to give up this. I have to give up this. I have to give up that. But let me say this to you, honey. Hallelujah. That God says no one who given up houses and land and uh, brothers and sisters and whatever in this life, when you come over to this side, because it's far better on this side, this the other side, it's far better on this side. He said he'll give you double. He'll give you more even in this life. I'm talking about why you're still living. You don't have to wait to get to heaven to get uh, what you gave up here. You're going to get more than that. And I'm a witness today. God will replenish you with more than enough. Keisha, Keisha, you all ought to help me pray this morning and type in your comment section, more than enough. Hallelujah. He'll give you so much till you must share. Hallelujah. Because he's a giving God. He's a loving God. And he wants us. Hallelujah, to know that we are blessed in the city, blessed in the field. We're blessed wherever we go. And the Bible clearly de declares, blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Hmm? We're talking about the getting up out of here morning. Hallelujah. On such the second death hath no power, 
but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Hallelujah. I tell you, God has greatness on the horizon for us. Hallelujah. I remember when my cousin was very ill. Hallelujah. She said, Val, she said, whatever happens. She said, I'm in a win-win situation. She said, because I'm a win if I live. And she said, I'm a win if I die. Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That's when you've made your reservation, Brother Michael. See, you have to make that reservation and your calling sure. Hallelujah. Because God has great things on the horizon for you. And Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. As we speak about your goodness and your greatness. Hallelujah. That you have for us and all of the joy, hallelujah, that you have promised us. Because some of us, hallelujah, have seen a lot of days of sadness and mourning, even in this society, hallelujah. Sometimes you just wonder, Lord, what is really going on? Hallelujah. But we as believers, we know what's going on, hallelujah. It's so close, hallelujah, for the Lord to... Crack the clouds to meet us in the air. That time is close, very close. Hallelujah. But Nehemiah 8.10, as we pray, the word of God declares, Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto the Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. See, sometimes I know we will get up in church and say, Oh, uh, saints, y'all pray for me. Pray my strength in the Lord. Hallelujah. I know you're doing it because you, you know, haven't read this particular scripture. But the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. So it's not that we can pray for you to have some joy. But hallelujah, you've got to get in the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, so that you can get some joy, hallelujah, because the joy of the Lord is your strength. When you get into the presence of the Lord, when you get happy in the Lord, when you get um, all tied up and tangled up in the Lord, hallelujah, you talking about entanglement, get entangled with the Lord, you're going to have joy, joy, joy. Hallelujah. Surely there will be days of sorrow, but honey, in your spirit, you're going to have joy. I'm a witness because I declare unto you every Sunday, I would make it my business. Hallelujah. When testimony service, when the doors of the church open with the testimony service. Oh, past, well, I was sister vowed in or evangelist vowed, whichever. Hallelujah. I was going to make sure I was going to be the first. Because I was going to get mine in so that I could get my joy to give me strength to deal with all the tragic and the trauma I was going to have to deal with all week long. Hallelujah. I know it's true. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. So when you want some joy, get in the presence of the Lord. Start thanking the Lord and telling him how good he is to you. Hallelujah. And that joy will start to bubbling up in you. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord. Oh, yes. It is your strength. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you for joy, joy, joy this morning because joy is promised unto the believer. Psalm 1611 declares, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. I just told you that. Hallelujah. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So while you're in there getting your joy, 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 hallelujah, you can let the Lord know your desires. What are your heart's desires? Let him know, hallelujah, because it's his good pleasure to give you the kingdom, hallelujah. Then the Bible declares, as we say, joy is promised to us, and we already know that our God is a promise keeper. Hallelujah. The Bible declares, Psalm 35, 
Hallelujah. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Hallelujah. So, you know, when somebody, when you're sick and somebody praying for you, Lord, if it's your will, yes, yeah, it's your will that I live. Hallelujah. Don't even come praying over me if it's your will. Yes, it's his will that I live. He said right here in his word, Psalm 35, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Yes. Hallelujah. We shall live and not die. Hallelujah. And declare the word of the Lord. I will never forget. Hallelujah. 20 years ago. Hallelujah, when the doctors didn't know what was wrong with me, what were causing these symptoms. Hallelujah. And it took them, I tell you, I went to my family physician, and then it was over 40 specialists. Hallelujah, that I went through in a time frame of about a year and a half, them trying to take care of me and find out what is going on. You know, sometimes, Zion, when I look back, Hallelujah. I wonder if it was so much of the trauma I was going through. Stress. Hallelujah. If you don't have the God of glory on your side, it will kill you. All of this trauma that some are going through, it will kill you. Hallelujah. It's an attack from the enemy in his camp. But God said in his word, if you would just love me with all that you have and all that you hope to be, Hallelujah, said trouble, it may come, but honey, it ain't going to last always. And I'm a witness this morning, Brother Rodney, that God is a keeper of his word. God watches over his word to perform it. And as we are praying this prayer this morning, joy, 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 double for your shame. God, hallelujah, he'll do just what he said he will do. And there's nothing, hallelujah, fake or phony about the God of glory. Hallelujah. Ah, he promised us joy. And then in Psalm 126, 5, as we pray, he declared, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. For all of those tears, hallelujah, that you shed on your pillowcase. For all those tears, hallelujah, that you shed in the church house and some thought you was shedding tears of joy and you were like, Lord, when am I going to get out of this hell hole? When you going to deliver me? Hallelujah. But I want you to know this morning, God is a keeper of his word, Sister Lorraine. Hallelujah. Sister Brockton, God will do it for you just because you ask. Hallelujah. He may not come, hallelujah, when you want him. Because most of the time, we want him to come like right now. You know, I even said, Lord, I wanted you here yesterday. You know, what's taking you so long? Hallelujah. But I declare, he knows, hallelujah, the plans that he has for you. And it's going to be right on time. Hallelujah. When the Lord comes to deliver you, Hallelujah, you're going to look back and say, oh God, you are an amazing God. You are a royal God. Hallelujah, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And you've been so mighty good to me. And you've given me joy, hallelujah, and beauty for ashes. Hallelujah, let the church shout hallelujah. I believe everybody in their comment ought to shout hallelujah, type hallelujah. And the Lord is declared as we continue to pray his word. Hallelujah. Ah, Isaiah 12, 3. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water. Huh? Mm. Is that what it really say? Hallelujah. <clears throat> Excuse me, out of the wells of salvation. Hallelujah. Therefore, with joy. So that makes me believe you must have some joy. Hallelujah. Because that's where your deliverance is coming through. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting pretty warm up in here. Hallelujah. Joy. When you have joy, hallelujah, 
That's going to bring your deliverance. With joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation. Salvation is your way out. Your way to be delivered. And that's why, hallelujah, I know some of them would say hallelujah when we were at Mount Zion. And I want to be the first one to testify just in case I go over. I got mine in. <laughs> hallelujah. But honey, I wanted to get mine in. I wanted to get that joy, joy, joy in. Hallelujah. So that I could further, hallelujah, my deliverance a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Because I know. Hallelujah. As long as I got that joy, deliverance is around the corner. But I'm telling you today, it was a long corner. But I'm so glad today. Hallelujah. For every day that I have stood, hallelujah, the test. I'm so grateful today because God had a plan for me. And you know, I was just thinking, and I don't want to start testifying because my testimony is so long. But you know, I was just thinking the other day, hallelujah, I'm like, Lord, you know, you are a good God. The Bible declares that love covers a multitude of faults. Love covers, hallelujah. And that's what I was trying to do, to cover, hallelujah, to keep everything together. Just trying to cover, you know, because when you sow in love and you all shook up, you do that. You know, you try to cover, you know, you, you keep on praying, Lord, now I know you see what's going on now, you know, I, I, and you know, Lord, I know he ain't no Christian that was born into this like I was, so he may not understand it like I understand it, but he did have the born again experience, I'm told, so Lord, come on now, come on now, work with me, help me out, hallelujah, but I'm so grateful that I demonstrated love in the whole I mean, in the whole shebang. I'm grateful today. Hallelujah. That my character, hallelujah, not bragging on me, but to all the glory be God, was impeccable during that time. Hallelujah. And that's why I feel honored that God chose me to be on this platform today. I didn't want to come on Facebook Live. I'm telling you, I told the Lord, Lord, no, I'm not ready. Hallelujah to go on uh, Facebook. I'm thinking of it as TV. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'm like, Lord, no, honey, I'm not ready. I got, you know, this going on, that going on. I don't look like this. But honey, God says he will use you just where you are. Sometimes we think we have to look like a certain one and speak like a certain one to be used of God. But that is not so. God wants us to know this morning, hallelujah, that where I put you, I will use you right there. Hallelujah. Can't nobody beat me being Valerie Denise Clark. Nobody. Hallelujah. And hey, I have heard some say, oh, you act like so and so. But honey, I ain't so and so. I am Valerie Denise Clark. I am God's original. Hallelujah. And I thank God, hallelujah, that I don't have to strive to talk like sister so-and-so, to look like sister so-and-so. Hallelujah. Mm -mm, no. Uh-uh. I want to be the way God want me to be to touch the ones that God wants me to touch. Someone said the other day, why do you all have all those churches on every corner? Hallelujah. Because I believe in Gary's 300 plus churches and you know, it's pretty much small city. But even if you have one or two souls in each church, hallelujah, they may not have went to the big church. Hallelujah. But because you were the church right there in the neighborhood, God set you there. So don't despise small beginnings. I remember Bishop T.D. Jake said he just go by the river. He didn't even have a church. He just preached to the rats and whoever was in the river. Hallelujah. So don't despise small beginnings because God had a place for you in his kingdom. Oh, yes, God does have a place for you in his kingdom. And I'm going to get back to this word. Hallelujah. Ah, then the Bible declares, hallelujah, as he has promised us joy. Hallelujah. Let me just give you one more scripture. Regarding that, Romans 14, 17 says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. Hallelujah. But righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Evangelist Madeline, you know how we used to do, honey. 
Joy, joy, joy. We come to church Sunday night at Zion Temple, honey, because we know it was going to be testimony time. Hallelujah. And we could just shout, 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 because the broadcast didn't come on till 11. We were going to be there at midnight. Hallelujah. But we loved every minute of it. Hallelujah. And we were so involved in the church as youngsters. Hallelujah. Till we would cry if we couldn't go to church. And the only reason we couldn't go most, most of the time was because uh, there were not enough vehicles in the neighborhood to take us. It was so many of us in the community trying to go to church. Ah, but I'm telling you, God is real, honey. God is so real. And we love the Lord on today because he's promised us joy, joy, joy. Hallelujah. Regardless how long the test lasts, you have to know God is a keeper of his word. And if he says, I'm going to give you joy, it's coming. Just hold on a little while longer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then we find, hallelujah, as we continue to pray, hallelujah, our scriptures regarding this passage, hallelujah, of the divine justice that God has for us. He declared in his word, the Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Hallelujah. And some of you know, hallelujah, that you're, de you're oppressed. Hallelujah. And that's the devil just pounding, pounding pounding on you. He wants to get you to switch sides, but you got to tell the devil you are a liar. Hallelujah. And our God is the Messiah and we're not switching sides, honey, because the Lord, hallelujah, shall deliver us. Then Zephaniah 3, 5 declares the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgments to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. See, people that do all that wicked stuff, they don't know no shame. Honey, that's their lifestyle. And anything they do, hallelujah, it ain't shame for them because that's who they are. Hallelujah. And let me just interject this, hallelujah, to be clear. Hallelujah. It matters not. Hallelujah. I once heard someone say, regardless of the number of uh, degrees that you have, hallelujah, said so you could have more degrees than a thermometer. When your heart is wicked, mm, hallelujah, your heart is wicked. Hallelujah. And people, hallelujah, have degrees, people that have no degrees. Hallelujah, it's an even platform. When your heart is wicked, hallelujah, you're going to do those wicked things. Hallelujah. But you have to make up in your mind. Hallelujah, I'm going to repent of all of this wickedness and I'm going to serve my God in the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah. Ah, I've seen a lot of wicked people. Hallelujah. You got white collar crime every day. Hallelujah. And if we're not careful, we're going to see some more white collars, uh, crime, hallelujah, persons going to jail. Hallelujah. Very shortly here. Because people's hearts, the Bible said, is desperately wicked. That's why we need a heart, honey. We need a renewal. We need to be born again, born of the water and born of the spirit. You must be born again. Hallelujah. To have your receipt. To have your seat saved, reserved in heaven for you. You must be born again. Hallelujah. It's no way around it. Because no wickedness will be there. Hallelujah. You won't have wicked brothers and sisters up there. If they won't change their lifestyle, they won't be there. It's for us to change. Hallelujah. We submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Hallelujah. The word is true. Hallelujah. And God loves justice. God loves judgment. Hallelujah. He's not only the God of love. Hallelujah. But you keep on. Hallelujah. And his judgment, huh? Ah, it shall be. It shall be. The Bible declares as we move on a little bit further, I'm going to have to wrap it up. I'm not going to get through, but I'm going to wrap it up. Hallelujah. Romans 2, 2, but we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth 
against them which commit such things. Those that commit that wickedness. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, God's word is true. Hallelujah. I remember when I was a young girl and uh, Bishop Huey Rogers came to Zion Temple to preach. And he said, you may get back, but you're not getting away. Why? Because we serve a God that has an all seeing eye. Honey, what you do in the dark is coming to the light. So if I were you, I would repent today. Hallelujah. I know some of you want to be this and that and you want to do this and that. But when it's all said and the dust is settled, only what you do for Christ is going to stand. Only what you do for Christ is going to stand. Hallelujah. And I'm going to bring this to a close. I'm going to skip a whole lot, but let's go here. Hallelujah. Because we're praying. Hallelujah. Because the word of God have shared with us that we will have joy, joy, joy for all of this trouble, all of this shame. Hallelujah. That we've endured, gone through. Hallelujah. Ah, and I declare unto you today, honey, I understand. Hallelujah. Some of what you're going through. I understand some of your afflictions. Hallelujah. Been that, done that. Got a few trophies on my shelf. Hallelujah. Ah, but they victory trophies because God brought me out. He brought me out on top and rising. Hallelujah. Sister Gina, I'm grateful today. Hallelujah. Because our God is a covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. Our God gives us everlasting covenants. Hallelujah. And he said in his word, uh, and the bow shall be in the cloud. Come on here. How many of you see rainbows now when it rained? Hallelujah. Some of you post beautiful pictures of rainbows when it rained. That's because God is an everlasting covenant keeper. Hallelujah. His agreements, what he said with you, it's on point and it's on target. And I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. See, he said in his word, Zion, hey, last time it was destroyed by water. He said, but the next time it shall be fire, 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 fire. And you know, we see all these fires burning in the east. Hallelujah. California all along that line. Hallelujah. And it just looks like an inferno. Hallelujah. Who wants to be in that? Nobody. I don't want you to be in that. That's why I'm on here this morning saying to you this morning, it's time to repent. It's time for us to believe what the Holy Word has said and to be free and to know that God will set us free indeed when we submit to the Holy Word of God. It is written and it is so. Hallelujah. It's not going to change because you don't like it. It's not going to change because your cousin don't like it. It's not going to change because your grandpa don't like it. But it's the written word of God. And it's something that all of us must abide by if we want to be caught up to meet him in the air. Well, I see my time is fleeting already. I'm not through. Hallelujah. But I'm going to put this to the side and let us pray even now, for those that are incarcerated, hallelujah. Ah, oh, we have a heart and a burden for those that are incarcerated. We pray for them uh, on today, hallelujah. And then we pray for all of our essential workers. Oh, yes, we pray for all our essential workers, hallelujah. We pray for them, hallelujah, and we believe God, hallelujah. He's going to do a great work even in them. Certainly, we pray for our president. The Bible have declared that we're to pray for all of those that have authority over us. Hallelujah. And we pray for the cabinet and all of the elected officials. Hallelujah. We pray for our nation and Jerusalem and all surrounded. We pray for all the essential workers. Hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Over all this sickness and disease throughout the land. Hallelujah. We must know that the blood of Jesus Christ prevails. The Bible is clear. Hallelujah. And I know it's true that the Lord heals all manner of sickness and disease. 
Hallelujah. I have a repertoire of testimonies on just in my family, all the sickness and the disease the Lord has healed. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful to know that our God is a healer. We pray for all the caregivers that are caring for those that are afflicted or in their time of uh, sickness and crisis. Hallelujah. All those that are in the nursing facilities. Mm. My God, we pray for our backsliders this morning. Hallelujah. Come on into the kingdom. The Lord said he's married to the backslider. He loves you. Hallelujah. With an everlasting love. He wants you to recommit and rededicate your life unto him. And certainly for all of you that do not know him in the pardon of your sins, I want you to pray this salvation prayer with me. Hallelujah. That you may be delivered and set free and be a candidate. Hallelujah for your reservated seat in heaven. Hallelujah. And we pray. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, just pray along with me. Lord, I believe you died to save me. I believe you are the son of the living God. Hallelujah. I believe in your death, your burial, and your resurrection. I ask that you forgive me of all of my sins and accept me as your child. Hallelujah. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior and keep me as I walk in the newness of life. Oh, God, receive all of me, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Hallelujah. And if you pray that prayer, hallelujah, as an outward confession, hallelujah, Letting the Lord know, hallelujah, and all your people know, hallelujah, that I am beginning my walk with Christ, hallelujah. I want you to know that I'm praying for you, that the Lord will allow you, hallelujah, as you have repented, to find some place where you could be baptized in his name, and he promised you, according to Acts 2.38, that he will fill you with his precious gift of the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. This is the Lord's plan of salvation. Hallelujah. And if you go back a couple of videos back, hallelujah, you'll, uh, you'll see I'll go into more detail on that even then. Hallelujah. But I want you to know, hallelujah, that God has greatness on the horizon for you. All you need to do is submit unto his will. Hallelujah. And in partnership with that, we pray for all of our partners in ministry. Hallelujah. We pray for all of our gospel troopers. Hallelujah. And we pray for all of those that are on this Facebook live, that the Lord will govern your life according to his word as you submit unto his word. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. And we pray that the Lord will give us wisdom as some of us have already voted and some will be going to the voting uh, booths shortly, we pray that you will vote, hallelujah, your voice, hallelujah, what you believe, hallelujah, and we pray that the Lord cover you. We pray that his blood cover you, hallelujah. And just to interject this before we close, hallelujah, we believe that the Bible says what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, hallelujah. So therefore, the stronghold of fear, hallelujah, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Under this spirit, hallelujah, is doubt, unbelief, you know, that drawback spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pull down these strongholds and command them to go according to 2 Timothy 1, 7. And Father, we bind that stronghold of pride. Under this is uh, stubbornness, thinking you're better than the others, high-minded, you're rebellious, haughty, you're contentious, self-righteous. Father, in the name of Jesus, we command these spirits to go and don't come back, according to Proverbs 16, 18, and 13, 10. And Father, we believe, according to your word, that as we stretch out more on you, hallelujah, and depend more on you, Lord, we pray, hallelujah, that you will help us to stay on focus. Hallelujah. Focus of you. Hallelujah. On you according to Joshua 1, 8. That the book of the law shall not depart from our mouth. 
but we shall meditate on it day and night that we may observe to do all that is written in it. For then the Lord said, hallelujah, we will be great. We will, our way will be prosperous and then we'll have good success. Well, we thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus over every situation that we may not know personally. Hallelujah. But some may have requested. Hallelujah. We pray that the Lord cover you, that the Lord sanctify you, that the Lord make you holy, completely his as you surrender your life to him, that you may have joy, 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 because you have completed the process of double for your shame. And God will give it to you because he's a covenant keeping God. And Lord, we thank you for this prayer. We thank you for all this word that have been given to us to help us understand, hallelujah, that as we go forth in you, hallelujah, that we can do all things because you are our strength and you are our redeemer. And Father, we pray in closing, let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable with thee. For Lord, you are our strength and you are our redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen and amen. God bless you, my Facebook family. So grateful for each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Just know that our God is a keeper. Our God is our savior. Hallelujah. And he loves us. If you have been inspired by this word this morning, hallelujah, according to the scripture, hallelujah, you should be willing to sow into good ground. Hallelujah, a laborer is worthy of his hire. And we thank the Lord, hallelujah, that as he continues to give us, hallelujah, great and marvelous things to do and to say, hallelujah, that we'll continue to please him as we journey on our day. Hallelujah. Ah, according to the word of God, hallelujah, may the peace of he, the God of glory, hallelujah, rest, rule, and abide with you henceforth now and forevermore. I know it's high time to pray. I want you guys to know that I love you with an everlasting love. And until we meet again, may God's richest and best always be yours. Mwah. Shalom.